The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Dose of DN, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. Today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I'm heading to my mom's for the weekend, so I thought I would enlist her help in making a Survivor contestant audition video. I am one of those OG Survivor fans. I have watched from the beginning. My first guinea pig's name was Rudy. Yes, after that, Rudy. And I thought it would be fun to make this video because I think I have what it takes to outwit, outlast, and outplay the competition. Hey, I'm 44 years old, and my life expectancy was like, three. So I've got that one down for sure. So let's head over to mom's and see what else we can come up with. This is Peepoo, not Rudy. And he's my mom's guinea pig. What do you want? Oh, you want to see me. He likes his treats. But this is the guinea pig that I persuaded mom to get when they were giving him away. Are you ready for the cucumber? Oh, there you go. Oop. Fun fact, cages keep cats from eating <laughs> guinea pigs. Is this not the cutest little egg? This is from my mom's silky chicken. Uh, either Fiona or Stormy, I'm not sure which one. But compare that to the store-bought egg. I just think it's the cutest little thing. And fun fact, a lot of people don't know this, which surprises me that you do not need a rooster to get eggs. Here's Stormy. Doesn't she go well with my outfit today? There's Fiona. Hi, Fiona. On Survivor, there are, with the diverse cast, there are lots of personalities. And let's just say I'm not one of those social butterflies. I'm a little more on the socially awkward side. Like, I talk to animals. Don't I, Stormy? Yes, I do. Are you the girl that laid the pretty little egg? Huh? Was that you? That was so nice. We love your eggs. And I bet you're looking forward to a nice, sunny summer weather, aren't you? Where you can put your feather feet in the nice plush grass. I wonder, do you think feather feet are equivalent to hairy toes? Well, I was just here talking with my niece who refuses to be on video, but I used to help babysit when they were little and she was saying how my, my tone of voice and my facial expressions were what would keep them in line. And I believe that's true because I remember when I was in the hospital on a ventilator, the nurses always knew if they were doing something right by my facial expressions. If this would be like, and then, <laughs> so eyebrows say a lot. Well, we had extra hands on deck. We decided to tackle a closet clean out. There's like not enough light in this room. I really don't like that. That is quite dark in here. We need like a lamp. Should we do we have a lamp? plug in? Yeah, come here. Grab the lamp from the living room. A white bag and a Goodwill box. After sorting through clothes, it's time to put the closet back together. Not too shabby. Fun fact, a group effort can organize a closet. <sighs> When I come to mom's, we always like to do a project. We like to keep busy. And I like to make projects out of things that I don't really like. For example, this is actually a skunk. Isn't it cute? When I was a kid, we would go camping. And on the other side of the tent one night, there was a skunk rubbing up against our heads. 
my dad went outside to use the restroom and he dove back into the tent saying, skunk. Ever since then, I was terrified of skunks. And my sister actually would tell me because I wouldn't open the window in the summertime. She said that the windows have skunk detection, so they'll automatically close if they detect a skunk. And of course, I believed her because she said it so convincingly. So she taught me that it's okay to tell a fib if it's for the greater good. So we are going to get working on this project. We have our skunk faces almost put together. Uh, we just pulled out H, G, and F to put together for the ears. So that's what we're going to work on next. Okay, for the next ear pieces, we need to find the background pieces. Um, we need I, J, and K. It's like putting together a puzzle. Okay, J is up here. K is that little rectangle by you. Yep. And then I is over in the corner. Yep. All right. So you take the I piece and put it on the right. Yep. Just like that. And that one goes on this piece. Yep, just like that. We're done with the skunk heads. I think they turned out pretty cute. It reminded me of when we did puzzles. Uh, every winter we would do a puzzle. And we're working on this one together. But there was one time when my mom, uh, we weren't done with the puzzle. And I knew she would finish it without me. So I swiped a piece. So then when she texted me, there's a piece missing. I played dumb and I was like, oh, I wonder where that would be. And then the next time I went home, I was the one to be able to finish the puzzle. It was kind of a sneaky prank, but it was fun too. But this one we are working on together. And here we have our project. We got the skunks finished. We still have a portion to do, but that can wait till next time. What do you think? Do I have what it takes to compete on Survivor? Even if I did, I have a feeling you won't be seeing me anytime soon on this show. The logistics are a nightmare. A wheelchair on the beach? <laughs> and the supports I would need to even survive for a day, I don't feel like I would have in a show like this. Unfortunately, that excludes a very large segment of the population, and that's probably why we haven't seen disability representation on the show. Yes, we've seen a disability here or there, but overall, the uh, representation is lacking. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below or head on over to the forums at smanewstoday.com forward slash forums. I'd love to hear your thoughts about representation on reality shows. But that's all I have for you today. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.